Hi there. Um, I thought I would do a like a how-to video since I haven't seen very many on how to style a pixie when you have curly hair. I've seen like one or two, but they typically have a lot curlier hair than I do. I'm somewhere in the middle of like wavy and curly. So um, it's not a whole lot of hairstyles or whatnot, but I just thought it might be helpful because I myself was looking for a tutorial like this. So my hair is fresh out of the shower. You can see it's curly, but not like crazy curly. My little three-year-old is gonna join us. So the first thing I really start with, and I hope this is close enough, um, I like to use like an argon oil or something of the sort just for holding in the curls, but not actually, <laughs> there's my little gremlin that will go, uh, <clears throat> to hold in the curls, but not make it really firm and stiff. So I put about a quarter size in. Let me see if I can scoot this up too. So I just kind of rub that through my hair and you can really wear it. I wear it down most of the time, I think. Kind of more like that. And I've kind of got like a faux hawk. It's a little longer in the back, so I just kind of fluff it. So I wear it like this most of the time, but I get bored. So one of the things I like to do, I yeah, baby, come sit. Can I take the towel off? Yes. Because I don't. Like so I part it. my hair. It doesn't have to be super even. That's the beauty of having curls. It doesn't show as much. Forgive me. I'm using the camera as my mirror. And I just grab one of these like little clips to hold it out of the way. I'm and, thanks baby. I'm gonna just do like a simple twist. And then I'm going to use, oops, should've had that ready. I'm gonna use like a regular small bobby pin. And just clip it back. And then go back in and just kind of like fluff up the curls again. And I wear it like this to work a lot because I'm a nurse and I like my hair to be <laughs> out of the way. So that's my first look. My second is similar, but I've got enough length when I don't have the curl in it that I can pull off like a really small um, Dutch braid. I'm gonna do the same thing, just repart it. Actually, a little bit further back because the length is towards the top of my hair. Clip this out of the way. And then, no, not yet, okay. I'm gonna take a small little bit here just to start. And this will be harder because I normally use a mirror, but bear with me. And if you don't know how to Dutch braid, I'm not like explaining it super well. It's, um, there's a lot of tutorials on Dutch braiding. It's the same kind of as a French braid, but the braid lays on top instead of underneath. And I find that it works better for my hair in this case because um, I like to fluff the braid up when I'm done to give it some volume since there's not a whole lot of hair there. And that allows me to do that with the Dutch braid. So, sorry in advance if you're looking for a tutorial on a Dutch braid. I'm gonna finish this up here. It's a little messy, but um, just with different lengths of hair but it really doesn't have to be perfect because you can use other products. Right now, I've just got the argon oil in my hair, 
which works fine. And then I always go back and spray after I've gotten the volume out of it that I wanted. Um, so it doesn't get like hard and crunchy. So I've come to the end of my hair pretty much. Right about there. You can see it's not like super long or anything. And I go back and I just pull each strand there. And I feel like it makes the illusion that I've got a lot of hair in the front when I really don't. And then I won't do this first one because that'll make my hair stand up kind of weird. Okay. And again, bobby pin. Oh, I didn't grab the hair. I can't see. Okay. And then you can go back and tweak again just to get it as full as you want. And then I typically will use like this hairspray. I find that it gives like a good hold, but it's not um, crunchy. I hate when my hair is crunchy. And then go back and kind of let the curls do their thing. And then I also like Garnier Fructis um, Curl Sculpt. You don't really need that much. Just use like a teeny little bit. And I put that towards the sides here. You could use pomade or gel or whatever you're used to and you like. And then I've got one of these brushes I usually use for like teasing to get some volume. But it also works really well if you've got naturally curly hair like me and you get these like little curly flyaway baby hair type things. There you go, there's the braid. And the curls kind of hide that part, that's why it doesn't have to be super perfect or anything. And I can show you the back, it's just kind of plain, but good. The other thing you could do I like these, these little crown pieces because you can see it in the back and they're super easy. You really don't have to do much to your hair. Like I could wear it like that. Um, or like bobby pin a few pieces back so it's just a few curls. Kind of like that. And then set that right back on it. So you've got just a few little pieces out. That's another look. And the last thing I usually do, I've got like headbands and whatnot like this. Um, they're okay. I don't like love them for sure. I do the same thing where I kind of pin part of it back. Um, but I don't like this weird bump that I get completely up to you. A lot of people kind of like that look. And then for weddings or events that I go to that I just want very minimal, instead of using a regular bobby pin, I'll use like one of these sparkly kind. So anyway, so the products that we're using, I was using, that was horrible grammar. Let's try that again. Um, these are my two go-to products. I will stand by them. I absolutely love them. I'm going to add a little bit more into the front there because I've been fluffing it up. Um, I currently cut my own hair and I can't really give a good description <laughs> as to how my hair is cut, but if you're looking to cut your hair and you've got curly hair and um, you're a little afraid of a pixie, I really like it. It's super easy. It doesn't take much time. Um, you're just going to want a little more volume up top. I've got it the same length all the way up into my crown area. And then I taper it shorter. I hope I'm in frame. As I get to the back 
and then just have like, I don't know, like three quarters of an inch down here. And I would suggest leaving something by your ear, especially if you're going from longer to shorter, just so you don't feel like you're naked. <laughs> and a little bit of an angle, but um, I hope that helps somebody. And uh, I'll probably upload a few more videos. I'm fairly new to the pixie world myself, so this is like what I've been doing the last few weeks. And as I find out other tips and tricks, I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching.